Most of us associate code and computer programming with things more complicated or sophisticated than Excel. But if we learn some code, it can allow us to do so much more. And the basics are actually fairly easy to get to grips with. We've created a series of four videos which are going to allow you to get to understand the basics. We're going to talk about um, adding buttons to spreadsheets and attaching macros to them. We're going to talk about changing cell values. We're going to talk about using offset to control positioning. And we're going to talk about creating basic loops. These are four of the main building blocks you need for visual basic coding. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so all I've done is created a brand new uh, Excel file, done absolutely nothing to it. The important thing to understand is that you need to have the developer tab visible. You can see up here, the developer tab is visible. However, it isn't usually visible in Excel. So you might have to go back into file and into options and go to customize ribbon. And then on the right, you can see all of the things that appear in your ribbon at the top of your Excel. So if the developer box is unticked, then just tick it and then exit options, and you'll be able to see the uh, developer tab at the top. Now I'm using Excel 2013. If you're using an earlier version, maybe 2010 or 2007, just Google Excel 2010 developer tab, and you'll be able to understand how to get it to display. Okay, so that's the first thing. Make sure you can see the developer tab. What we're gonna do in this video is create a button and attach a macro to that button to do something. Now, we've all seen fancy, advanced, sophisticated spreadsheets. Um, I've created a few myself, maybe, that, that have buttons in that run, run routines that do things in the spreadsheet. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put a button in and attach a macro to it. So the first thing we need to do is open the Visual Basic Editor. Visual Basic is the name of the language that underpins Excel, and we can edit it and manipulate it to get us to do things for us. So let's open the Visual Basic Editor, and this is what it looks like. There isn't a lot there at the moment. Over here on the left, there are tools for structuring your code. You structure code using things called modules. So the first thing we're going to do is go to insert at the top and put a module in. So not a class module or a user form, just put a module in. And we can see here, we have a module and Excel has taken us um, to that module. Okay, so we're gonna create our first routine now. Exciting. So we're gonna type in sub and then we're gonna call this routine say hello. Okay, so sub, say hello, and then just hit enter. You'll go onto, onto, onto the new line and Excel has given us end sub. So these routines, um, Visual Basic refers to them as subs and we can see Excel has started the sub and ended the sub there. Everything we do needs to be within those two, uh, the start point, the sub and the end point, the end sub. Okay, and what we're gonna type in is MSG box, which is Visual Basic Language for Message Box, space, and then speech marks. And we're gonna type in hello. You could type in any message you want. I'm gonna type in hello here. And then we can click enter again. I'm just gonna delete the blank spaces. So this is our first uh, Visual Basic routine. Okay, that's great. So now we're gonna move away from Visual Basic back into Excel and we just have a blank space spreadsheet. What we want to do is create a button, put it in here and then link the macro or the sub that we just created to this button so that when we click the button, that routine, that macro, that sub is activated and it executes. So to add a button, we're going to go to insert at the top and this is the same in Excel 2010, left click and then click on this button here you click once, and now you're ready to add a button. You can see the cursor has turned into a cross. That means uh, Excel is ready for you to add a button. Now, a little tip when you're adding buttons, I always like my buttons to, uh, to line up nicely. I'm a little bit pedantic about that. And you can do that using the Alt key. So if you hold down the Alt key, when you're positioning the cursor, um, Excel will snap that button to the grids. Uh, to the grid lines, which means that the button will be nicely lined up. So I'm just going to release. And Excel has created the button. It's not showing it to us yet. 
but it has given us this dialog box. So what's this dialog box doing? Well, Excel is asking us of the routines that you have created, which one do you want to trigger when you click this button? So it's asking us to assign a macro to this button. So can you remember we created the routine say hello? We're going to click on that now, and that means that when we click on this button, the say hello routine is going to run. OK, we can click OK now, and we have our button. I like to edit the text. I just right clicked on the button and gone to edit text. And I'm going to put something mean meaningful in here. Because so it's important that when we click the button, uh, we understand what it's, what it's doing. And, Editing that text allows us to do that. So let's click the button and let's see what happens. OK, excellent. So we've clicked the button. Excel has got into Visual Basic. It's found the routine that it's, that's assigned to that button, and it's gone through that routine. And in the routine, we just had one line of code, which is a show a message box with the word hello in. That's exactly what it's done. So let's try that one more time. There we go. Feel free to practice it as many times as you like. It's always a sense of achievement um, when you get a macro to work well. So definitely have a play with it. OK. Great. So you've now created a, a button. You put it in the spreadsheet. You've created your first macro in Visual Basic. And you've got the macro to work by clicking on the button. So that's a great start. OK. This is the first of four videos in a basic, uh, Visual Basic for Excel. And I will see you in the next video.